The Church Door Read for LibriVox.org by Kirsten Ferreri Thou whose sweet youth and early hopes Enhance thy rate and price, And mark thee for a treasure, Hearken unto a verser, Who may chance rhyme thee to good, And make a bait of pleasure. A verse may find him who a sermon flies, And turn delight into a sacrifice. Beware of lust, it doth pollute and foul whom God in baptism washed with his own blood. It blots the lesson written in thy soul. The holy lines cannot be understood. How dare those eyes upon a Bible look, much less toward God, whose lust is all their book? Abstain holy or wet. Thy bounteous Lord allows thee choice of paths. Take no byways, but gladly welcome what he doth afford, not grudging that thy lust hath bounds and stays. Continence hath his joy. Weigh both, and so, if rottenness have more, let heaven go. If God had laid all common, certainly man would have been the encloser. But since now God hath impaled us, on the contrary man breaks the fence, and every ground will plough. Oh, what were man, might he himself misplace? Sure to be crossed, he would shift feet and face. Drink not the third glass, which thou canst not tame, when once it is within thee. But before mayst rule it, as thou list, and pour the shame which it would pour on me upon the floor. It is most just to throw that on the ground which would throw me there if I keep the round. He that is drunken, may his mother kill, big with his sister. He hath lost the reins, is outlawed by himself. All kind of ill did with his liquor slide into his veins. The drunkard forfeits man, and doth divest all worldly right, save what he hath by beast. Shall I, to please another's wine-sprung mind, lose all my own? God hath given me a measure short of his can and body. Must I find a pain in that wherein he finds a pleasure? Stay at the third glass. If thou lose thy hold, then thou art modest, and the wine grows bold. If reason move not, gallants, quit the room. All in a shipwreck shift their several way. Let not a common ruin thee entomb. Be not a beast in courtesy, but stay— Stay at the third cup, or forego the place. Wine above all things doth God's stamp deface. Yet if thou sin in wine or wantonness, boast not thereof, nor make thy shame thy glory. Frailty gets pardon by submissiveness, but he that boasts shuts that out of his story. He makes flat war with God, and doth defy with his poor clod of earth the spacious sky. Take not his name who made thy mouth in vain. It gets thee nothing, and hath no excuse. Lust and wine plead a pleasure, avarice gain, but the cheap swearer through his open sluice lets his soul run for naught, as little fearing. Were I an epicure I could bait swearing. When thou dost tell another's jest, therein omit the oaths, which true wit cannot need. Pick out of tales the mirth but not the sin. He pears his apple that will cleanly feed. Play not away the virtue of that name which is thy best stake, when griefs make thee tame. The cheapest sins most dearly punished are, because to shun them also is so cheap, for we have wit to mark them and to spare. O oh, crumble not away thy soul's fair heap! If thou wilt die, the gates of hell are broad. Pride and full sins have made the way a road. Lie not, but let thy heart be true to God, thy mouth to it, thy actions to them both. Cowards tell lies, and those that fear the rod. The stormy working soul spits lies and froth. Dare to be true. Nothing can need a lie. A fault which needs it most grows too thereby. Fly idleness, which yet thou canst not fly by dressing, mistressing, and compliment. If those take up thy day, the sun will cry against thee, for his light was only lent. God gave thy soul brave wings, Put not those feathers into a bed, to sleep out all ill weathers. Art thou a magistrate? Then be severe. If studious, copy fair, what time hath blurred. Redeem truth from the jaws. If soldier, chase brave employments with a naked sword throughout the world. Fool not, for all may have, if they dare try, a glorious life or grave. O England, full of sin, but most of sloth, spit out thy phlegm, and fill thy breast with glory. Thy gentry bleats, as if thy native cloth transfused a sheepishness into thy story. Not that they are also, but that the most are gone to grass, and in the pasture lost. 
This loss springs chiefly from our education. Some till their ground, but let weeds choke their sun. Some mark a partridge, never their child's fashion. Some ship them over, and the thing is done. Study this art, make it thy great design, and if God's image move not thee, let thine. Some great estates provide, but do not breed a mastering mind, so both are lost thereby, or else they breed them tender, make them need all that they leave. This is flat poverty. For he that needs five thousand pound to live is full as poor as he that needs but five. The way to make thy son rich is to fill his mind with rest, before his trunk with riches. For wealth without contentment climbs a hill to feel those tempests which fly over ditches. But if thy son can make ten pounds his measure, then all thou addest may be called his treasure. When thou dost purpose aught within thy power, be sure to do it, though it be but small. Constancy knits the bones, and makes us stour, when wanton pleasures beckon us to thrall. Who breaks his own bond forfeiteth himself. What nature made a ship, he makes a shelf. Do all things like a man, not sleekingly. Think the king sees thee still, for his king does. Simpering is but a lay hypocrisy. Give it a corner, and the clue undoes. Who fears to do ill sets himself to task. Who fears to do well sure should wear a mask. Look to thy mouth. Diseases enter there. Thou hast two sconces, if thy stomach call. Carve or discourse. Do not a famine fear. Who carves is kind to two. Who talks to all. Look on meat. Think it dirt. Then eat a bit. And say withal, Earth to earth I commit. Slight those who say amidst their sickly health, Thou livest by rule. What does not so but man? Houses are built by rule, and commonwealths. Entice the trusty son, if that thou can, from his ecliptic line, beckon the sky. Who lives by rule, then, keeps good company. Who keeps no guard upon himself is slack, and rots to nothing at the next great thaw. Man is a shop of rules, a well-trust pack, whose every parcel underwrites a law. Lose not thyself, nor give thy humours way. God gave them to thee under lock and key. By all means use sometimes to be alone. Salute thyself, see what thy soul doth wear. Dare to look in thy chest, for tis thine own, and tumble up and down what thou findest there. Who cannot rest till he good fellows find, he breaks up house, turns out of doors his mind. Be thrifty but not covetous, therefore give thy need thine honour and thy friend his due. Never was scraper, brave man. Get to live, then live and use it, else it is not true that thou hast gotten. Surely use alone makes money not a contemptible stone. Never exceed thy income. Youth may make even with the year, but age, if it will hit, shoots a bow short, and lessens still his stake, as the day lessens, and his life with it. Thy children, kindred, friends upon thee call, before thy journey fairly part with all. Yet in thy thriving still missed out some evil, lest gaining gain on thee, and make thee dim to all things else. Wealth is the conjurer's devil, whom, when he thinks he hath, the devil hath him. Gold thou mayest touch, but if it stick unto thy hands, it woundeth to the quick. What skills it if a bag of stones or gold about thy neck do drown thee? Raise thy head, take stars for money, stars not to be told by any art, yet to be purchased. None is so wasteful as the scraping dame. She loseth three for one. Her soul, rest, fame. By no means run in debt. Take thine own measure. Who cannot live on twenty pound a year cannot on forty. He's a man of pleasure, a kind of thing that's for itself too dear. The curious unthrift makes his clothes too wide, and spares himself, but would his tailor chide. Spend not on hopes. They that by pleading clothes do fortune seek, when worth and service fail, would have their tail believed for their oaths, and are like empty vessels under sail. Old courtiers know this. Therefore set out so, as all the day thou mayest hold out to go. In clothes, cheap handsomeness doth bear the bell. Wisdom's a trimmer thing than the shop e'er gave. Say not, then, this with that lace will do well, but this, with my discretion, will be brave. Much curiousness is a perpetual wooing. Nothing with labour, folly long a-doing. Play not for gain, but sport. Who plays for more than he can lose with pleasure stakes his heart, 
perhaps his wives, too, and whom she hath bore. Servants and churches also play their part. Only a herald who that way doth pass finds his cracked name at length in the church glass. If yet thou love game at so dear a rate, learn this, that hath old gamesters dearly cost. Dost lose? Rise up. Dost win? Rise in that state. Who strive to sit out losing hands are lost. Game is a civil gunpowder, in peace blowing up houses with their whole increase. In conversation boldness now bears sway, but know that nothing can so foolish be as empty boldness. Therefore, first, assay to suff thy mind with solid bravery. Then march on gallant. Get substantial worth. Boldness gilds finely, and will set it forth. Be sweet to all. Is thy complexion sour? Then keep such company. Make them thy ally. Get a sharp wife, a servant that will lower. A stumbler stumbles least in rugged way. Command thyself in chief. He lives war knows, whom all his passion follow as he goes. Catch not at quarrels. He that dares not speak plainly and home is coward of the two. Think not thy fame at every twitch will break. By great deeds show that thou canst little do, and do them not. That shall thy wisdom be, and change thy temperance into bravery. If that thy fame with every toy be posed, tis a thin web which poisonous fancies make. But the great soldier's honour was composed of thicker stuff, which would endure a shake. Wisdom picks friends, civility plays the rest. A toy shunned cleanly passeth with the best. Laugh not too much, the witty man laughs least, for wit is news only to ignorance. Less in thine own things laugh, least in the jest thy person share, and the conceit advance. Make not thy sport abuses, for the fly that feeds on dung is coloured thereby. Pick out of mirth like stones out of thy ground profaneness, filthiness, abusiveness. These are the scum with which coarse wits abound. The fine may spare these well, yet go not less. All things are big with jest, nothing that's plain but may be witty if thou hast the vein. Wit's an unruly engine, wildly striking sometimes a friend, sometimes the engineer. Hast thou the knack? Pamper it not with liking, but if thou want it, buy it not too dear. Many, affecting wit beyond their power, have got to be a dear fool for an hour. A sad, wise valour is the brave complexion that leads the van, and swallows up the cities. The giggler is a milkmaid, whose infection or a fired beacon frighteth from his ditties. Then he's the sport. The mirth then in him rests, and the sad man is the cock of all his jests. Towards great persons use respective boldness. That temper gives them theirs, and yet doth take nothing from thine. In service, care, or coldness doth rateably thy fortunes mar or make. Feed no man in his sins. For adulation doth make thee parcel devil in damnation. Envy not greatness, for thou makest thereby thyself the worse, and so the distance greater. Be not thine own worm, yet such jealousy as hurts not others, but may make thee better, is a good spur. Correct thy passion's spite, then may the beasts draw thee to happy light. When baseness is exalted, do not bait the place its honour, for the person's sake. The shrine is that which thou dost venerate, and not the beast, that bears it on his back. I care not, though the cloth of state should be not of rich heiress, but of mean tapestry. Thy friend put in thy bosom. Wear his eyes still in thy heart, that he may see what's there. If cause require, thou art his sacrifice. Thy drops of blood must pay down all his fear. But love is lost, the way of friendship's gone. Though David had his Jonathan, Christ his John. Yet be not surety if thou be a father. Love is a personal debt. I cannot give my children's right, nor ought he take it. Rather, both friends should die than hinder them to live. Fathers first enter bonds to nature's ends, and are her sureties ere they are a friend's. If thou be single, all thy goods and ground submit to love, but yet not more than all. Give one estate as one life. None is bound to work for two who brought himself to thrall. God made me one man, love makes me no more, till labour come, and make my weakness score. In thy discourse, if thou desire to please, all such is courteous, useful, new, or witty. Usefulness comes by labour, wit by ease, courtesy grows in court, news in the city. Get a good stock of these, 
Then draw the card that suits him best, of whom thy speech is heard. Entice all neatly to what they know best, for so thou dost thyself and him a pleasure. But a proud ignorance will lose his rest rather than show his cards. Steal from his treasure what to ask further. Doubts, well raised, do lock the speaker to thee, and preserve thy stock. If thou be master gunner, spend not all that thou canst speak at once, but husband it, and give men turns of speech. Do not forestall by lavishness thine own and others' wit, as if thou madest thy will. A civil guest will no more talk all than eat all the feast. Be calm in arguing, for fierceness makes error a fault, and truth discourtesy. Why should I feel another man's mistakes more than his sicknesses or poverty? In love I should. But anger is not love, nor wisdom neither. Therefore gently move. Calmness is a great advantage. He that lets another chafe may warm him at his fire, mark all his wanderings, and enjoy his frets, as cunning fencers suffer heat to tire. Truth dwells not in the clouds. The bow that's there doth often aim at, never hit the sphere. Mark what another says, for many are full of themselves, and answer their own notion. Take all into thee. Then— with equal care, balance each dram of reason like a potion. If truth be with thy friend, be with them both. Share in the conquest, and confess a troth. Be useful where thou livest, that they may both want and wish thy pleasing presence still. Kindness, good parts, great places are the way to compass this. Find out men's wants and will, and meet them there. All worldly joys go less to the one joy of doing kindness. Pitch thy behavior low, thy projects high. So shalt thou humble and magnanimous be. Sink not in spirit. Who aimeth at the sky shoots higher much than he that means a tree. A grain of glory mixed with humbleness cures both of fever and lethargicness. Let thy mind still be bent, still plotting where and when and how the business may be done. Slackness breeds worms. But the sure traveller, though he alights sometimes, still goeth on. Active and stirring spirits live alone. Right on the others, here lies such a one. Slight not the smallest loss, whether it be in love or honor. Take account of all. Shine like the sun in every corner. See whether thy stock of credit swell or fall. Who says, I care not, those I give for lost, and to instruct them will not quit the cost. Scorn no man's love, though of a mean degree. Love is a present for a mighty king. Much less make any one thy enemy. As guns destroy, so may a little sling. The cunning workman never doth refuse the meanest tool that he may chance to use. All foreign wisdom doth amount to this, to take all that is given, whether wealth or love or language. Nothing comes amiss. A good digestion turneth all to health, and then, as far as fair behavior may, strike off all scores. None are so clear as they. Keep all thy native good, and naturalize all foreign of that name, but scorn their ill, embrace their activeness, not vanities, who follows all things forfeiteth his will. If thou observest strangers in each fit, in time they'll run thee out of all thy wit. Affect in things about thee cleanliness, that all may gladly board thee as a flower. Slovens take up their stock of noisomeness beforehand, and anticipate their last hour. Let thy mind's sweetness have his operation upon thy body, clothes, and habitation. In alms, regard thy means and others' merit. Think heaven a better bargain than to give only thy single market money for it. Join hands with God to make a man to live. Give to all something, to a good poor man, till thou change names, and be where he began. Man is God's image, but a poor man is Christ's stamp to boot. Both images regard. God reckons for him, counts the favor his. Right, so much given to God. Thou shalt be heard. Let thy alms go before, and keep heaven's gate open for thee, or both may come too late. Restore to God his due in tithe and time. A tithe, purloined, cankers the whole estate. Sundays observe. Think when the bells do chime, tis angels' music. Therefore come not late. God then deals blessings. If a king did so, who would not haste, nay give, to see the show? Twice on the day his due is understood, For all the week thy food so oft he gave thee, 
thy cheer is mended. Bait not of the food, because tis better, and perhaps may save thee. Thwart not the mighty God, O oh, be not cross. Fast when thou wilt, but then tis gain, not loss. Though private prayer be brave design, yet public hath more promises, more love, and love's a weight to hearts, to eyes a sign. We are all but cold suitors. Let us move where it is warmest. Leave thy six and seven. Pray with the most, for where most pray is heaven. When once thou foot enters the church, be bare. God is more there than thou, for thou art there only by his permission. Then beware, and make thyself all reverence and fear. Kneeling ne'er spoiled silk stocking, quit thy state. All equal are within the church's gate. Resort to sermons, but to prayers most. Praying's the end of preaching. Oh, be dressed! Stay not for the other pin. Why, thou hast lost a joy for it worth worlds. Thus hell doth jest away thy blessings, and extremely flout thee, thy clothes being fast, but thy soul loose about thee. In time of service, seal up both thine eyes, and send them to thy heart. That spying sin, they may weep out the stains by them did rise, those doors being shut, all by the ear comes in. Who marks in church time others' symmetry, makes all their beauty his deformity. Let vain or busy thoughts have there no part. Bring not thy plough, thy plots, thy pleasures thither. Christ purged his temple, so must thou thy heart. All worldly thoughts are but thieves met together to cousin thee. Look to thy actions well, for churches are either our heaven or our hell. Judge not the preacher, for he is thy judge. If thou mislike him, thou conceivest him not. God calleth preaching folly. Do not grudge to pick out treasures from an earthen pot. The worst speaks something good. If all want sense, God takes a text and preacheth patience. He that gets patience, and the blessing which preachers conclude with, hath not lost his pains. He that by being at church escapes the ditch, which he might fall in by companions, gains. He that loves God's abode, and to combine with saints on earth, shall one day with them shine. Jest not at preacher's language or expression. How knowest thou but thy sins made him miscarry? Then turn thy faults and his into confession. God sent him whatsoe'er he be. O oh, tarry, and love him for his master. His condition, though it be ill, makes him no ill physician. None shall in hell such bitter pangs endure as those who mock at God's way of salvation. Whom oil and balsams kill, what salve can cure? They drink with greediness of full damnation. The Jews refused thunder, and we folly. Though God do hedge us in, yet who is holy? Sum up all at night what thou hast done by day, and in the morning what thou hast to do. Dress and undress thy soul. Mark the decay and growth of it. If with thy watch that too be down, then wind up both. Since we shall be most surely judged, make thy accounts agree. In brief, acquit thee bravely. Play man. Look not on pleasures as they come, but go. Defer not the least virtue. Life's poor span make not an L by trifling in thy woe. If thou do ill, the joy fades, not the pains. If well, the pain doth fade, the joy remains. End of the church door. This recording is in the public domain.